reacting to hamster tiktoks part two if you haven't seen my first reacting to hamster tiktoks video i'll make sure to leave that in the i card above i'm really hoping this time we see some good hamster care on tiktok so let's start so i'm getting a hamster next week so i'm gonna make him a new Bing cage but then i'm using i'm just gonna cut a hole into this and put this wire mesh so he can't escape so i'm adding the bedding into the cage now you want there to be about six inches so you could burrow I'm adding this cute little hamster house now i'm adding this wheel and finally i got him this little popcorn cheap toy i'm really happy to see somebody promoting large cages including bin cages they're great cheap options instead of going out and spending a ton of money on something like a tiny tails cage or a critter trail um, as well as six inches of bedding at minimum and i like this tiktok hi guys this is my hamster coffee and we've been receiving a lot of concerned and hateful comments lately and i usually never address this but i would just like to address a few things we're usually outside making fun videos, and I'm tired of everyone hating on us and, like, saying all these things. Like, just enjoy the video. Some of you know, clearly, as this comment shows, that I do take good care of my animals because you're probably on my live stream and see that. But this is for the people who don't, so stop commenting about it. So let me just measure his first cage. His cage is two feet long. This is his play pad. It doesn't really tell you much. That's 24 inches, so 24 inches by what? If it's 24 inches by 12, that's only 360 square inches of floor space, which is under the bare minimum, which is 450 square inches of floor space. Because he's out of his cage like 95% of the time. He that's another thing. Uh, the excuse of my hamster's outside of its enclosure most of the time, so it doesn't really matter the size of the enclosure, just isn't, it doesn't work unless you are staying awake all night because hamsters are awake during the night, they sleep during the day, then it's not counting towards anything because the most important time of the day that your hamster needs a lot of space in a big cage is during the nighttime when they're going to be active, not when they're sleeping they're filming videos or I just like to play with him off camera. Here's his downstairs cage. He and this is just for when we come downstairs and he needs like a drink of water or something because cancers can't go that long without water. Coffee's in great care. His cage is big enough. He's so small. I'd appreciate if you guys would stop. I hate when people say that. I hate when people use a hamster size and their lifespan to determine what they deserve. Just because your hamster's small or any animal doesn't mean that they're not supposed to have something they're supposed to have. Just because you're small doesn't mean you don't have a lot of energy and you don't have a lot of natural behaviors you have to do to, in order to be enriched and happy. Later that same evening. One hour later. Two hours later hamsters deserve more bought a hamster and i'm not even halfway home and it's already chewed his way out of this one and now this one she is a wild one just like her oh my god <laughs> so this is one of the reasons i actually recommend uh taking a plastic carrier uh, if you're going to go get a hamster instead of using the cardboard carriers because some hamsters are wild ones and they're going to chew out, which is not fun, especially since you don't want a hamster lost in your car. A teacup! A heart! That was the cutest robo ever. Oh my gosh. I love this TikTok so much. I love when people are showing good hamster care on TikTok. It makes me so overjoyed. If 
you already watched this channel, you may have already known about my opinions on hamster balls or seen my video on them. If you haven't, I will make sure to leave that linked so you can check that out. Hamster balls actually are not safe for hamsters. They are very stressful towards them and can cause a lot of injuries. Um, a hamster car is a very similar thing to a hamster ball. The only difference between the two is hamster ball you can roll however a hamster car is just going to go back and forth. But it still has the same issues as a hamster ball and they really shouldn't be used. If you want to take your hamster out to play, you can use a playpen. You can free roam them in a hamster proofed room. If you don't have any of those options, you could literally sit in a dry bathtub with your hamster or you don't have to sit in there with them. You can just put a bunch of toys in there and let them play in there. I love this. I love seeing, I love seeing TikTokers get uh, given advice about their pet care and then they actually go ahead and not argue against it and then they look into it and they upgrade. It's awesome, especially when they do a TikTok showing it. I love that. What are you doing right now? How long has this been a secret? This has been a secret going on two days now. We've had hamsters and our mom has not known that she's coming upstairs to uh, inspect our rooms because we're children. So two things. I notice their tiny tail cage boxes, which hurts my heart because <laughs> I hate tiny tails with a passion because they are never ever going to be large enough for a hamster. And number two, please don't hide animals from your parents. It's very irresponsible and sometimes the outcome is not good. Your parents can make you get rid of them. Um, if your pet gets sick, then you might not be able to take them to the vet because if you're underage, you may not be able to go there yourself. You may not be able to afford it and your parents definitely aren't going to be paying for it generally. Wait, this cage looks almost like the other. This, I think this, why is this such a popular cage? I don't under, if you didn't know, this is a Walmart brand hamster cage. It has 180 square inches of floor space. I see it so much. I hate it. <laughs> it's so tiny and it's just anger, rage. Uh, something traumatic no. happened that changed my life. That stresses me out so much. If you didn't know, Syrian hamsters are solitary and you can Google it and Google will tell you the same thing. You can literally save your hamster's life by Googling, can Syrian hamsters be together? Can they be play together? I can guarantee you the first answer you are going to get is no. This puts your hamster at so much risk. Not only can they hurt each other, they can literally fight to the death. You, it's, if you want a social animal, please get a social animal such as a rabbit, guinea pig, rats, female mice. All of those animals are social and need companionship. Hamsters don't. I've seen a couple videos like this now and I'm very, I'm, do people not own tissues? Do, is, are we just starting, like, do I just, oh, sorry, I'm just, I don't have, I don't have, this is my tissue now, like. Stop. Hamsters cannot be bathed in water at all. It's not safe for them, it's not good for them. The only reason a hamster can swim is because in case they actually have to and are forced to in the wild if say they're being chased by a predator and they have to swim across a little puddle or something. That's the only reason. 
Hamsters don't like being bathed. They don't like being in water. It's really bad for their coat. They produce oils that keep the coat nice and stuff. And by washing out those oils, your hamster is going to be overproducing those oils to replenish them. So in the end, it's you're gonna end up with a greasier hamster. If you don't like the way your hamster smells, I probably would suggest not getting a hamster. Cause sometimes they're gonna be stinky. That is it for this video. I'm done with TikTok. Please create good, wholesome hamster videos on TikTok and do better. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.